Yeah, are you filming right now? Okay, let's let's do a wide angle shot on this, if you don't mind, Mike. Yeah, I don't really like how uh, how close this is right here. Eddie, we didn't get the wide angle like you like one, man. We you know we were trying to get the red M and M's and uh, and James and like you like them, man, and uh, we just we just didn't get them, man. I'm sorry. What kind of f dog and pony show are you guys running here? You didn't get the wide angle. Did you get vaccinated? Where's your mask? You're standing over me and you don't have a mask on. I thought this was a professional operation. God. So quite a while ago, I came across this. It's a filter attachment and it's a wide angle and it's meant to go on uh, your standard 35 millimeter cameras that have 49 inch or 49 inch, yeah, 49 millimeter diameter filter attachment. So what this is, is just a, a wide angle that attaches like a filter instead of, you know, a full lens, if you will. So I came across this thing. I, I, I don't even really remember where. I know I didn't buy it. I think I came across it in some of my uh, grandmother or grandfather's old stuff. And I thought at the time, I might be able to use that one day on, on a video camera. And I put it in my truck, actually in the center console of my truck, and I forgot about it. So, I found it the other day, and I thought, I need a wide angle on my on my regular camera. And this is my regular camera. It's kind of old now, but um, it, it does very well. It doesn't do 4K. It does uh, 1080p at 60 frames a second. And it's a Vixia HFR40. And I like these cameras because of this. I can move this around and I can see at any angle that I'm filming, which is kind of important for me. But the bad thing about this thing is it doesn't have any way of attaching a filter up here. Um, and it's not a real big deal. I mean, you don't normally use filters on a camcorder. But, but for this instance, I'd like to put this wide angle on here to give me the option of a wide angle and a, and a not wide angle. So what I finally ended up discovering is that you can buy these little filter attachments. And what they are is they, they're, a, they're to attach a, a camera that has a smaller filter attachment to a larger filter, a more common size filter. And I think 49 millimeters is pretty common. So I tried to find one that was the, inside the small ring, was close in diameter to this outside chrome bezel. And I really couldn't find one that went over the bezel, which was sort of my what I wanted. But the largest one I found did come close and I thought well I could probably bore that out the extra millimeter or so so I got one this is the one I got if you have this camera this might help you out it's actually 45.5 to 49 millimeter and this was on Amazon let's bore this out and see if I can fit it over here and then we can glue it on and and maybe both uh, super glue as well as um, as well as some epoxy resin to give it a little bit more strength than just the super glue because I don't think we're going to have a lot of uh, surface area for the super glue. But with the epoxy resin, we can actually build up a little surface area around where it, where it goes on. All right, so I think I figured I'd need to make, take off about a millimeter total on this, so half a millimeter side. I've got a little bowing bar here, a little tiny guy, and I'm just going to touch off in the center and use the DRO to move back towards me maybe half of that, so maybe a quarter of a millimeter. Pick that and then remeasure. So let's touch off on the inside here. come out quarter millimeter so we're shooting for 40 
almost 44. Okay, let's take another quarter. We're at 43 now. Saw some movement there. Might be this thin piece here. It's pretty solid on there. But I'm not, I don't have a lot to grip to there, so I'm kind of worried about that. Let's check that. Yeah, about 43 and a half. Let's go ahead and go a little bit more and then I'll check it on the camera. That's what's that's what happened last time. That's why we got a bad. So we're gonna readjust a little. Make sure we're on straight still. That looks good. And just hope we're not damaging the threads on the inside, which I'm gripping to. I'm not gripping it super tight. A little under 44. So let me get the camera here and. See how close it is. So could you see that? <laughs> A bird's eye view of the uh, operation here. I need to go a little bit farther. It's just it's just going over, but not quite. So because I moved the piece, I'm going to touch off again. There. This time when I go in, I'm gonna I'm gonna retract the cutter off the face and pull it back. Check the camera again. And that is so close, I'm gonna have to take it off and look at it up close. All right, we're actually good, but what I need to do, just because of the way the camera's laid out there, I need to take a little bit, a little bit of this ledge off. So I just need to kind of face that. Yeah, I don't think I wanna go any deeper because I don't wanna cut through the front. So I just want to cut a little bit of that ledge off, and that's, I think that's going to be it. Okay, so I got a really good fit except for one little area. And I want to see if I can show it to you here. You see how it narrows right here as it comes to the front, right in this area. So I don't have as much actual engagement there. So what I did is just shave the one side a little bit. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. So just shave that side a little bit. And I think. What we're gonna get is a perfect fit, if I do say so myself. So to check that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assume that the sides of the camera are roughly parallel to this face, the top face, this face. So I'm gonna get my square here, got one of these little Tim Squay Squares, Squay Squares, 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 and I'm actually the eighth one. I got a signed and numbered version. There we go. Pretty close on that side. 
course, this is not going to be perfect because I'm sure that this camera is not perfectly square, but it's going to give me a good rough indication of whether I'm pretty square. Looks pretty good. I don't think I'm going to get it closer. Uh, I've been using this square now for a couple days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little mini review on it at some point. Um, and Tim didn't send this to me. He's another YouTuber. I don't know if you're familiar with him, but you can look up Tim Sway on YouTube if you're interested in seeing more about this thing. Um, I've just been seeing if, if it's going to be useful for for my sort of work, and so far it has been. That's one of its little nice uses right there. It's a good size. But we'll talk about that in a future video. Uh, so right now, what we're concerned about is, let's see this thing work. Now, I don't have it glued on yet, but it feels pretty solid on there. So we're just going to do a quick test here. I'm going to screw in the actual lens. Yeah. It's holding on there pretty well. And that basically looks like camera was made that way so obviously I'm not going to use it like this I am going to glue it on because I don't want this lens falling off um, I don't know what it costs to replace this lens I know that you can get these um, Chinese versions I guess on Amazon and other places you'd have to look for one of these old Minolta ones um, I did not find one when I did a quick search for them and I didn't even find a used one on, on um, eBay, but uh, they are out there and there's other options available. I just like using the best stuff that I can afford and I could afford free on this one. So uh, let's uh, kind of flip cameras and um, take a look at what it looks like with the wide angle. This is going to be a double test because I've got, um, I don't know if you noticed, I can't really show it to you right now. Wait, yeah I can. So back to this camera, we're, we're, filming, we're filming each other now. So one of the things I was worried about with this sort of setup was that my front microphones are right here. You kind of see them in there, I guess. Anyway, they're right in there. So they're kind of under the thing now. There's a little bit of gap there, but they're sort of under it. So like I said, this is going to be a double test with microphone as well as the wide angle attachment. My voice right now is with the attachment on. We're going to see if it changes when I take the attachment completely off. This is with the wide angle attachment. Let me grab it here, pop it off, and that's without. So this is without the wide angle attachment, and I think you can see the difference. So between that and that. And that's quite a difference. And this is as wide as this particular camera will go without without this attachment. Well this is the worst gel super glue ever. Okay, don't recommend Scotch brand very highly. Kind of comes out in clumps. Generally I prefer super glue that's gel. But not when it comes out in clumps. And let's give this a shot. I'm not sure I'm going to need the uh, epoxy. <laughs> it's pretty much set on there as it is. Kind of even it is around. If I ever want to take this off though, it looks like I'm going to have to chuck the camera in the lathe and take it off that way. So I just saw something interesting with the wide angle on. Watch what happens up in there in the corners when I move the camera. I think that is actually a function of the image stabilization, not something you can actually turn off. So, but what I did find is if I zoom in just a little bit, a little bit more. There we go. Now you can't see it when you move. 
So I'll just have to remember when I'm filming something, I can see it a little bit on the one edge. I'll go in a little farther. So yeah, if you zoom in just a tiny bit, uh, you can get rid of that ghosting in the corner of the actual filter itself. It's just because of the field of view on this camera, it's a little, it's not made to have filters on it. So you got to kind of fool the camera into focusing beyond where the actual filter is. So okay, there we go. I can move around and no problems. Let's take, I'm going to take the wide angle off now and see how much difference we get. So still a huge amount of difference. So I'm happy with that. I seem to have it on manual focus at the moment. What are we focused on? I have no idea. Anyway, so that'll work. Turn the manual focus off. There we go. So that'll work. Let's try it again. There's on. Damn it. And it's broke. No, it's not. So it's on, I can move around, no ghosting in the corner, and I still got a nice wide field of view.